Hello, everybody, and specifically, Gwen, hello to you. Uh, this is Telman Knudsen with DearTelman.com, coming at you this second day of 2009, January 2nd. It's actually fairly late in the evening. It's 7.45 p.m. Eastern Time as I'm recording this video. My desk is an absolute mess. I'm actually in the middle of doing two simultaneous product launches, and... Um, it's just craziness around here. And yesterday, I made the New Year's resolution to do a Dear Tellman every day this year. So I couldn't let the day go by without getting it done. And I was looking over some of the great Dear Tellman questions that have been written in. And Gwen, you asked a good one. Now, um, today's Dear Tellman is, is very, very interesting, and I'd like to illustrate a point about stacking the cards for you to win. Um, there, there are a lot of things that you can do in this life in order to simply stack things up to increase your chances of success. That, that doesn't mean that you're against anyone else. It's just improving your own chances of success in the life that you have to live. And I say, hey, why not? Now, I'm not saying cheat. I'm not saying do anything immoral. I'm not saying do anything unethical. I'm saying, what if we could do some things just to make life easier for ourselves in order to make more money? And the magic trick that I'm going to um, show you here today bears absolutely, positively no explanation. It's self-explanatory. So I even have it left in the package. Adams magic tricks Adam's pranks magic you can see it says I don't hopefully you can see that I don't know if you can or not it says since 1906 and um, George Washington appears on both sides of the coin there it is what is it it's a two-headed quarter yep that's right folks there's a, court, there's, a, there's a head, there's a George Washington on both sides of this coin. And uh, what I'm going to share with you today is a simple two-headed coin trick that you can use to apply to your marketing that will hopefully give you some pretty amazing results. I'm having a nice glass of wine here on this wonderful evening. Jody made some great beef stew for dinner. Not bad. Um, so here we go. Gwen. Uh, by the way, whoever asked the best question in response to today's Dear Tellman video, of course, you're going to win this two-headed quarter. I'm going to send it in the mail to you, and you'll be able to use it over and over to impress your friends. Now, Gwen. Gwen says, um, I took the class today, which was actually on 1218. This question was written um, on the 18th of uh, December, so about, I don't know, two and a half weeks ago. However, I'm a newbie, uh, meaning I have done NLP. I do not have a product at this point, which apparently is not important at the beginning. I have not taken the Perpetual Marketing Machine course. You probably should take that, Gwen. Um, then she goes on to say, I am concerned regarding a niche. Is there a way I may have a conversation with you? I resigned from being a pastor after 20 years. Before that, I was an actress and singer in New York for 20 years. Now, how do I integrate all that I have been experienced into internet marketing? Please advise. Thank you. Joy and prog progress. Gwen Gillespie. Gwen, great question. And um, the number one thing that you have to remember is, I mean, if you if you did, were a pastor for 20 years and an actress and singer for 20 years, then you already know everything that you need to know about your niche, okay? You are an extraordinarily skilled individual, and I think that you can use your two professions that you've had in your lifetime. Maybe you've had even more, but that's 40 years of experience. That's saying quite a bit into doing something quite extraordinary today. And here's how I would recommend that you do it, and here's how I would recommend that everyone who's having trouble deciding on a niche do it. Um, I recommend that you start in an area uh, that you're extremely experienced and familiar with. Um, 
either being a minister or a pastor um, or being an actress and singer professionally. Now, the interesting thing that I'd like to point out to you, um, uh, and this actually comes from a note from Josh, who is a phenomenal copywriter that works for Overcome Everything. Um, he actually sent me this question and said I should probably pay close attention to it. So, smart move, Josh. Um, he says, note from Josh. Um, she seems like the perfect type of person to prosper with personality marketing. She needs a little help finding a niche, which I think would be a great thing to do a Dear Tellman video about. And you can really build her up to let her know that as a performer, someone who's essentially been in communications her whole life, this will be a piece of cake. Um, I tell her to think about her experience as a pastor as she goes through her courses and when she decides on a niche, to pick one and she could do a quote sermon about it every day and I completely agree um, your, 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 your ability to communicate as a pastor is probably your strongest skill set here um, I would recommend that you probably get yourself a flip video and do something like a video blog like I'm doing right here and start communicating with your list every day now the question is what are you going to do that on I would consider one of two areas. I would recommend that you start by considering teaching pastors how to be better pastors, how to grow their congregation, how to communicate more effectively. I would even recommend that you create a membership site around um, the Sermon of the Week and that you will give an outline and an example sermon and a transcript and some notes um, each week to your um, members, teaching them. And, and I would make it universal enough so it could apply to any, either it, you could go broad and go any religion or you could go more specific and say maybe any um, Christian variant or you could go really specific to whatever your particular um, um, religion is. Either way, whatever you feel the most comfortable with, obviously the broader you go, the bigger your audience will be and the less um, direct your communication will be, right? The, the, the more, like if you're Lutheran or um, Catholic, then it, you, know, you could speak very specifically if you need to be more broad or more general. Or hey, even if you're something like Unitarian, then you could uh, you know, really appeal to a very specific group of people. But the flip side is, if you go to all ministers or pastors of any type, um, or you know preachers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and then out into the non-Christian religions, in many cases, uh, most religions are really talking about the same basic principles, the same basic concepts, and uh, that that would be a very powerful way to not only build a site but build a very very strong following in a membership site. But you're going to affect much more um, people than just pastors, right? You're going to affect all of their congregations. So I would consider that. Second thing I would consider is building a list around being either an actor or being a singer, but not both. And then use your abilities to communicate that you've learned as a pastor in order to teach either actors or actresses or singers how to make it in that environment. You have plenty of experience and you can teach them stuff that they don't know who are just getting started. So Here's the point. Stack the cards in your favor. Teach people things you already in, already know. Use simple internet marketing techniques that we teach you in the List Building Club in order to make it happen. And join the List Building Club. Go to www.thelistbuildingclub.com. If you're not already a member, we're giving away our Ferrari here in the next few months. Sean Casey and I are giving away a Ferrari 360 Spider to whoever makes the most progress. You'll find more out about that after you opt in and check out the blog. Listbuildingclub.com. This is Telman Knudsen with DearTelman.com. Click on the link below, leave a comment, ask a question, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.